In this series of I survived 7 days with the deadliest karate master, we're going to be learning from Higa Sensei, a master from Shuri Shorin Ryu. Day 1 was already packed with details on punches and footwork, so let's see what kind of lessons we can learn from day 2. It is currently uh, 8 a.m. Today I have a private lesson uh, with Higa Sensei uh, in the evening, but until then I'm going to be doing some um, online lessons. So let's get started with the day. Last time we were doing the turns as well, and then yes, first let's uh, brush up on the punches. Okay, left arm out, right hand back. So go naturally, and then into the. So I just finished off with my uh, online lessons. I'm gonna be heading off to a cafe to uh, to summarize and to organize what I've learned yesterday, so I can ask him uh, good questions in today's lesson. So let's just walk down to the cafe. So in today's private session, I really want to um, ask him, when do you use your back side of the hip and when to use your front side of the hip? I have my way of approaching this, but I'd love to learn more about this. And hopefully I can learn the stronger way of standing in a kibodachi because he roughly, um, I would say, mentioned that, but I wasn't really sure uh, to what he was saying. So those two points, I'm going to try my best to clear it and share it with you guys. Yeah, so guys, I was just heading to the dojo, but I'm like two hours early and look what I found across the, uh, across the street. Look at that local store restaurant right there. You know, those restaurants, the authentic ones, you can't really find in, in Tokyo. So let, let me take a look at that before. Oh no, it's sold out. This means complete bought. It's been bought already. Oh, everything's gone now. I guess I have to find a new place then. Guys, finally, after 10 minutes of walking, I think I found the spot. This restaurant right here. They take um, Okinawan chicken and they seem to be making ramen and nabe, like hot pots. So let's see if we can just, you know, eat that up and then go to the training. Uh, in this restaurant, you take a QR code and then after you scan it, it directs you to the menu and you can order from here. So, you know, you don't have to be waiting for the waiter, you can just be ordering it here and then they'll bring the, um, the thing for us. I ordered this one and the ramen. So, let's see if it's, you know, really good. Oh wow, they gave us a starter. Uh, it's basically um, half boiled eggs and potato salad. Some nice restaurants don't, um, don't require you to pay for this, but I don't know about this one. Usually if the restaurant has sake or Japanese liquor, or just, I would say alcohol in general, they would charge you like maybe 300 to 500 yen, depending on the location. Itadakimasu. This. Mm. Pretty good. Oh. <laughs> this is so good. This is so good. Sweet soy sauce taste with the eggs. You guys gotta eat this. Great restaurant. Second dish. Ramen. Let's do this. Mmm. Very rich um, chicken flavor. Mmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. A little bit of a thick, thick um, noodles. Very, very rich. So if you're drunk, oh my god, this is going to be so good. Alright, it seems like we are meeting at uh, meeting room number one. Let's see where that is. Oh, I guess it's here. Ah! After clearing out the chairs and the desks, we went right into the first lesson, which was on powering up your punches using your hips. 
どっちかというとこっちに持ってきてる右に行こう、うん、でもタイミング違うんだよあの、はい、好きの場合はここに食べてるようだけどもうここに来る時にはもう左に向いてるこう,、まあ、こ,うこの状態からだと、はい、ちょっと左右に出るけど、はい、ここから突こうという時はもうこういうふうにしてる。無知のようなこの若干の何ていうんですか奥へがあるんですね。うん見た目では分からんけどもう早くなったらもうさっとやるからはい、はい、分からないけどただ体の部としてはもうこうこう持ってきてるうんすべてがこれなんかし,しなりみたいなのそう感じれるああじゃあ早くやってもそのしなりの度合いは変わりますかそんなに変わらんとなるほどあそこが稽古ですねそうそうこのこれがどんどん小さくそうそう早くな早くで,でこれは巻いて入れる時もそうそうそう全く同じです。So guys, let me explain this in a little more detail. This is heavily related to the second lesson um, of day one, which was basically on to connect your two arm movements using your hips. Just like Higa Sensei explained in the previous clip that we just covered, the hip moves first before the arm. Therefore, when you make your punches go, hip pulls back, arm comes back, hip goes out, arm comes out. When you do that smoothly enough, it looks like this, not one, two, okay? Additional information that was added on today in day two was the stretch feel, the whip feel. Before, you know, not moving it together, but let there be a gap part, we did it yesterday, right? But today's point was when you move the hip here as the arm comes back, you feel the stretch here. Using this stretch, just like how you would Take something with a little bit of a flexibility, like a branch of a tree. You bend that and then you let go of the end and then the top flings out. Just like that, you stretch here and then using that, you release this. Okay? Feeling that stretch and not、uh, feeling it, it makes a huge difference. So don't move your body like a block, but more this whip. Okay? Hope you can give it a try. So, the eighth lesson I learned in this series is to use the stretch to whip out your hand. In the next part, I try to cover which hip you use for which technique. You can see how strong this block is by taking a look at this clip from day one. はい。
一応けもいいですよ。同じです。こうはい。で、で、でこれはこっちに来たときに受けですね。右で打ち受けされる場合は左側からですか。左をじゃ逆なんですね。これも上げ受けは同じ側ですよね。月と一緒で。そうそうそう。ここが昨日どっちなんだろうっていうふうに思って家で今日朝動かしてたんですけど、どっちなんだろうと思って。アメリカンも。気にしたこともないんだけど<笑>言われるとそうだな<笑>先生すごい自然にやられてるんで<笑>気にして稽古したことはないなああ質問もない失礼でしたかだいたいそういう意味でもあだから気がつかないってこといいところにああよかった首都家は首都家も一緒ゲラバラは一緒そうそうそうだから,だから一旦こ,ここにだから巻いていく感じ巻いていく右に左だったらこうこっちなんですねそう So guys, to sum up the techniques where you use the same side of the hip are these and the techniques where you use the opposite side hip is these Okay, you can take a screenshot of this and save it later Also, to check whether that power is correctly getting delivered、um, to the object or not What you can do, this is something I heavily recommend everybody. You can stand in front of the bag, place your hand on it, and try to do the block or the punch or whatever you are doing. For instance, for Stoke, you can place the hand here, and without using your arms, you know, this restricts your arm movement, you can use the bottom to smack this out, like this. You can do this with the punch, like this.、Um, basically, it's like a One inch punch practice, okay? You can use this for a variety、um, of techniques, such as your、uh, uchi uke, like this, your、uh, gedan barai, okay? Your arm should feel pretty light、uh, when you successfully do this. So try that out as well. So the ninth lesson is change the hip depending on the technique. From here, we worked on the strength of the stance and the technique using the kata of naihachi. Where you be ni? 最後,最後は最終的にはフォームから来るですとか、うん、と三角形っていう話があったんですけどそこがちょっといまいち強く立ててるのかが分からなかったので、うん、もう一度確認をさせていただきたいんですけどまっすぐ重心をこう落とす場合が結構どの流派でも多いんですよね、うん、それでは強くはないない軸が立ってないと押していただいてもいいですかよよこ,これだと弱いと思う。はい。After working on some points from day one? これだとかな,かなり強いと思う。ああ、確かに。小指側はそんなに意識をしないです。今日のありがたい。ああ。こうこうツイストをしますか。これが自然出てこないと、下から来てね。To watch the rest of day two, which I have covered three fundamental principles of Shuri Shonin Ryu from Higa Sensei, check out the full long video from the link in the description. So, after the second training, how am I feeling? A little bit、uh, overwhelmed, to be honest. Yes, I was able to check up whether I was doing things correctly or not, and Uh, I was able to also check on what I should be focusing on from my next training back in Tokyo. However, there were just so much like in Shinjiku, that oval kind of shape movement of your hip, the yori modoshi, basically that whip back motion, chinshin, the act of settling down, and ukumi or ukimi, the act of lifting up, and that being generated naturally. And I guess also the,、uh, <clears throat> the, the toriti or the, this exercise that、um, we did in the lesson. So, yes, a little bit overwhelmed, but I'm sure you know, I'll sleep it off. Tomorrow I'm gonna review it, try it out on my own at the beach or somewhere maybe. And hopefully I can come up with better questions and better,、um, better aspects, points of views、uh, for my next training. So, you know, so far. Very, I'm enjoying my,、uh, my training. So far, so good, I think. And I hope to see you guys on day three as well. See you guys soon.